what we see here is the basic lighting control module and first we need to set the base address and this one is at one and the next one is at four because the first one takes three channels basically it's really simple you just pick a color you want for that scene and these banks at the A column correspond to the scenes so whatever you do here doesn't affect the lighting so basically um, for this one it looks to be kind of blue and red or cyan and well I'm not good with this so we just pick if we had the steps set to one we can see straight away the color we pick and yeah this seems to fit very good with the video and make a next step um, and the third step can be black and now because it's set to random mode it's just say changing one pixel randomly every time but if we set it to all now it's controlling the all all the lighting the fade button gives you a fade surprisingly you can make it less drainful to look at by using that uh, you have your timing controls right here now it's set to bar if I set to beat it's faster and um, I think that's really fun when you use this scroll mode button so here we have programmed um, a different sequences that utilize the light so if you put it to whoosh you can see what it does or crisscross from side to side walk you should make more yourselves these are kind of I'm not even sure if they're all implemented <laughs> anyway um, and what I really like is when you change the scene the lights instantly change to Okay, let's go to the moving lights. So it's basically the same deal. Um, these are set to the base address 52. And you select some colors you like and we see them responding fade and these four are movement positions and they are um, changing every bar yeah let's blow some smoke Disco time. And same again, let's program another scene. So this one could use uh, something red. 
and forgot to mention this is the movement speed so if I put it to low it will move really fast and so on okay I have too many steps so let's put just like three steps white and black You have this little color correction thing here because I've just noticed with my LEDs they are they don't represent exactly the color I see in the color picker. So yeah, but a lot of this stuff is pretty hard coded. So if you really want to make it work with your setup, I would um, look at the code because it's right there. Um, this is uh, one more module. Um, this one is the master module. And let's find it. Um, there you go. So this one takes control of all the lights in the system. And might be a bit buggy, but there's basically a strobe button that's automatically synced to the Tatum. Um, there's total strobe that strobes between black and white. And there's this uh, analog modeling blinder thing that goes from uh, uh, bright to bright white to... Um, uh, to yellow and then black yeah it's kind of crappy but I'm cr counting on you guys to make this better 